Today I'll be talking about the Owings Mills Mall in Owings Mills, Maryland. So Owings Mills Mall was a shopping mall in Owings Mills, Maryland, United States, that hosted 155 stores and eateries. The Baltimore County, Maryland community of Owings Mills it was owned out by and managed by General Growth Properties. While its main entrance was off Red Run Boulevard between Painters Mill Road and Owings Mills Boulevard, the mall was also accessible for the exit ramp of I-795. It was originally known as Owings Mills Town Center. The mall was demolished and reopened in 2019 as Mill Station. The mall's final anchor store was JCPenney, which closed in, in April 8, 2016. Previous anchors were Bamberger's Heights, Macy's, Bob's, Cosgrove's, and Taylor's, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Sears. Um, we're going to talk about the heinous crime that happened at the Saks Fifth Avenue and Owings Mills Mall. I'm just waiting and see. Um, IFL, International Furniture. It was temporarily located in the space of vacant Red and Taylor and Sticks and Stuff. I like that name, Sticks and Stuff. It's kind of a silly name. A furniture retailer that was temporarily located in the Sears building until it was demolished in 2004. The mall experienced the closure of several national malls, leaving many vacancies in this one upscale shopping mall. history was the mall was announced as early 1981 and vague plans compared to the white marsh mall in size 1983 a summer 1986 opening had been announced as well as a fact mall was featured was featured three department store anchors with plans for two more Anchors, Sites Fifth Avenue, Bamberger's, and Heights were announced in 1984. The mall opened in July 28, 1986, with the mall, mall 95% lease and 80% of stores open. The area was identified as a primary growth center in 1979 by the Baltimore County. Originally intended to be around the lake, Ross Company planned to develop the mall and surrounding area similar to its town center in Columbia, Maryland. Environmental regulations charged during time between development of Columbia and Owings Mills in the Army Corp of Engineers concluded the lake will be a negative in uh, negative environmental impact. The mall was built. The area does not include the waterfront focal point intentional plan. <laughs> Baltimore Metro Subway State. The Owings Mills Metro Subway was opened by Baltimore Metro Subway and one year after Owings Mills opened <coughs> shuttle bus service with a 10 minute road trip was provided between the mall and the station. The shuttle bus serve was discontinued in June 1980, June 1992. I'll be talking to you about that pretty soon. Leaving a less frequent bus station that provided the link only every 30 to 20 minutes. Alternatively, one mile walk was possible between the mall and the metro station, which ran alongside unused auxiliary parking lot of the mall then down a hill through grass and vegetarian on a windy asphalt pathway before reaching one of the metro parking lots. Now oh, I'm to get to it. Christina, Christina Murray Brown's murder. Christina Brown's murder at 2.18 p.m. on, on September 25th, 1992. Christine Murray Brown is found dead from a gunshot wound in the back of the head along the vegetation line portion of the path 
between the mall and the metro station. She was found 10 minutes after leaving work as an employee of the cleaning company under the contract to Saks Fifth, Saks Fifth Avenue at the mall and was believed to have been taken traveling to the metro station. En route to her home in Baltimore City, Brown was shot after resisting a robbery from her purse containing about $120. Was um, taken. The pathway was closed in November 25th, 1992 in response to Brown's letter. Murder received heavy local media attention, which led to a long-standing perception that Owings Mills was unsafe. <sighs> Man. <laughs> After the closure of the trail, walk between the mall and the metro station became impractical the most by requiring the use of regular bus service. In 1997, the bus service between the two locations has improvised. The ease of public transportation allowed visitors from inner cities urban areas and to get to the mall much more than easily as other suburban areas in the Baltimore metro metropolitan area. Mall was quite popular mid ladies well into the nineties upscale including upscale stores such as Saxis, Warren Sonoma and Benton Retendants. As a result of the renovation of the other Baltimore area suburban malls, Townsend Town and the Mall in Columbia. Crime shifted in around the mall and shook and shook in the social economic climate of the community surrounding the mall. Owens Mills has steadily lost business since the time. Sachs nineteen ninety six was replaced by Macy's. Owens Mills received growth competition from other local malls have expanded. <laughs> Townsend Town Center added Nordstrom 1991. That was Rondo Blow to Owings Mills Mall of Skill Station. Rouse Company purchased Townsend Town in 1998. Rouse Company and General Growth have continued to promote Townsend Town and the Mall in Columbia and Pittsburgh Mall. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> while leaving Owings Mills stuck in the middle. An expansion happened in 1998, adding a Sears and Lord and Taylor, but closing 2021-2002, respectively. Six and Stuff was a short-lived furniture store retailer moved into the Sears building, but closing in 2004. And the building was tranquilly demolished. IFL moved into the Morning Taylor building but was short lived and closed at soon after. A building remained vacant until demolition. When Macy's acquired Heights in late two thousand six, Macy's moved into the former Heights building in Boscos, replacing the former Macy's building. However, Boscos announced in two thousand eight that this location will be closed <laughs> as a plan to close 10 locations due to the company's failing for Chatter, Love and Bearing could see. This left JCPenney and Macy's as the remaining acres. In October 2010, story of the mall in the Baltimore Sun stated mall was 22.6% vacant. WBALTV reported on November 10, 2011, that Owings Mills will be demolished in 2013 with a new outdoor style mall similar to the um so the out, so the outdoor style so the so Owings Mills mall got demolished in 2013 and and got rebuilt as Mill Station and added like a Costco, TJ Maxx, or whatever. But outdoor mall. Um, so this is why I don't get. So like the big indoor malls, loses business. So they convert it into outdoor shopping mall. I don't really get it. Because like the mall wasn't doing well, and like 
even like changing the whole thing, changing from an indoor mall to outdoor mall, still will continue being bad because of what happened in 1992 because you know Larry Brown shot so that's the thing why I don't get um like if if the mall is totally abandoned dead nobody's coming and when you convert it to an outdoor mall then then why would they think it'll increase people to come because it's because like I'm doing good um, because like probably the outdoor mall will lose business as, as well. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so where was I? Um, Lauren Taylor building, but sure Lord I do was closed soon until the building remained vacant until demolition. When Heights acquired Heights in late 2006, Macy's moved into the former Heights. Building bus caused a portion of the former Macy's building. However, bus caused not to 2008 that this location would close as part of a plan to close 10 stores due to the company filling her chapter, bank, chapter 11 bankruptcy. This left JCP and Macy's as remaining anchors. Now, in October 2010, stores the mall in the Baltimore Sun say that in the mall is 22.6% vacant. WBAL-TV reported on November 10, 2011 that only mills will be demolished in 2013 with a new outdoor style mall similar to the revamped Hunting Valley Town Center to be completed in 2014. In October 2014, the Baltimore, the Baltimore Business stated that the mall was about half vacant. In late 2015, the interior of the mall closed, leaving Macy's, GGP, out pair restaurants and movie theater in operation. Macy's closed November 2015. JCP announced on January 13, 2016, that the mall will close its Owens Mills location in the spring. A fixture of the mall were auctioned in March 2016. The Demolish, De demolition mall was a seating in August 2016. And the redev redevelopment of Mill Station. As of February 2017, the mall was completely demolished, ready for redevelopment. For I don't know why I can read the development on on December 5th 2017 it was announced that the property will be redeveloped as a love a lifetime center called Mill Station the $108 million project will be 575,000 square feet and anchored by Costco Lowe's and Dick's Dick's Sporting Goods <laughs> Dick's well, there will be at least 30 total tenants. Construction is set to begin in early 2018 and expected to be completed in late 2019. The existing 7-screen AMC, originally a general cinema, opened in 1998, will be full remodeled. Costco opened October 2018. Lowe's opened January 2019. AC Moore closing um, March 2020 as part of bankruptcy. March 2020, so I think in March 2020 because of COVID. COVID sucks. Owings Mills Restaurant Park next to the mall in 1998. It's a collection from fried sit down restaurants such as Red Lobster and Olive Garden. Olive Garden is so good. <laughs> Mixed use transit oriented development first called Owings Mills Metro Station is now um, Metro Station at Owings Mills alongside Mill Station. Thanks for watching. Rock on forever. And guys, show you some photos right next to it. Keep on rocking.